that's hot. Yeah, that's hot. Today is the day, boys. Johnny boy. The, the golden beard. Well, I guess not gold. The red beard. The red baron. Oh. Callie Yoda has challenged me to write a melody over his chord progression. Now, I'm John. John, you're a great guy. If you don't know who John is, go ahead and, you know, you know the bing, bang, bang, ba boom. Um, John chose a really bad day because he released this video on Resident Evil 3 day. So, of course, I was playing Resident Evil 3. However, I'm in the game now. I'm here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to watch this video. We're going to figure out the rules and then we're going to write a song. So the wonderful people at Rode Microphones and I are giving away three mics with a contest that is going to bring us together through making music in a time where we could, we could really use it. You ain't wrong. So let's start with number one. Number one. What's this about? I'm fascinated yeah. by the infinite amount of options that exist for any given moment in a song, even just thinking of the melody. It's an infinite choice of pitch, timing, articulation, emotion, mm -hmm. sound. One small move can completely change the emotion of yes. that song. Look how quickly I can change the emotion of Bad Guy by just moving a couple small things. See, I like that point because I feel like I brought up that point a couple of different times before. Like, just by changing one note or two notes, you can completely change a feel. Like, think of it this way. If you have a major scale and a minor scale, the only difference between them, well, if you're talking about the whole scale, is the third, the sixth, and the seventh. But the difference between a major triad and a minor triad is literally just moving the third by a half. And I wanted to do this experiment about how many melodies and ideas could be made from a singular starting point, showcasing the insane variety of possibilities that can blossom from one same input. And there's no better time than now to bring people together to take part in a contest and offer some killer prizes for just kind of making a piece of a song. Number two. How do you do it? So the top link in the description Ooh. is a download link to three chord progressions, both in audio and MIDI form. You get to choose which progression you would like to work with and write a melody to it. You can sing and play the chords on guitar, you can mm. play the melody on piano, or you can program it all in your DAW and write to it that way. The only requirement is that, you know, we can hear the chords and we can hear the melody. So, I didn't hear anything in there saying, I can't write a full length song. <laughs> of the three chord progressions to choose from. There's no number. Next, film a video of you performing or screen capping the oh, result and post okay. it on Instagram with the hashtag infinite melody challenge so I can infinite see your submission. Challenge. After that, share this video to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or LinkedIn, any social platform, and just be sure to tag me so that I can see it, especially if it's Instagram story before it disappears. And that's it. We're gonna announce three winners at random in two weeks from today and reach out to you through Instagram. But just a little life hack, you can actually submit three times to win by posting all three progressions. So go for it. There's no film quality requirements. Mm -hmm. It can be as elaborate or as simple as you'd like. I want this to be something anybody can submit for. Number three, what? Right. I'm not too interested in the whole microphone part. I mean, if we end up winning some kind of place, I would gladly love to tell John to just give it to somebody else who would probably need it. I am not in any need of microphones, but I do enjoy a good challenge. Super excited to have you participate in Infamily Challenge with me. This is an incredibly exciting way for us to create music in a time of isolation. I can't wait to hear what you create. First off, here's a reminder of the steps to enter properly. Choose one of the three chord progressions. You can use a supplied audio MIDI or the chord chart below. You can change the BPM or feel to keep the chords the same. Okay. Around a melody over the chord progression, film the result of the combination. Remember that this can be played all on piano or sing the melody while playing guitar, program it on your computer, you know, just don't let the film quality stop you from making the music, pretty much. So if you got a, a potato phone, film it on the potato phone. Post a video to Instagram, the hashtag, make sure you spell it correctly. Share the video on social media, of course, and then those are his tags, and check back April 15th to announce three winners. So essentially, we have 12 days to, well, 
I think they're picking the winner by the 13th, so we have 10 days to go ahead and write this. Alright, so let's, let's actually just go in and listen to these real quick. Chord progression 1. Or something for that one. Let's go ahead and check this one. Okay, so number, I think number one has the best chord flow as far as my taste goes, but I think that number three has the most potential when it comes to making a metal song. Let's go into hand dandy Pro Tools, see what we can do with this. All it said was I don't have to change the chords. It didn't say if I had to change how the chords are played, like, if they're plucked or if they're like arpeggiated, I didn't didn't say I had to change, didn't say I had to keep that. So I might come up with something saucy on guitar with it and see if I can do something cool but keep the chords overlaid the entire time. See what this sounds like. I think that's gonna be it. I am jiving with this one the best. We're gonna go ahead and come in here. And we're gonna turn all of these into chords. Because John kinda cheated. Because John kind of cheated with melody th with number three because number three, like, is already kind of a melody if you think about it. Because if you were to, if you play it, it's like. Like, that's already a melody in itself, and then you could turn these bass notes into chords. So, I think I'm gonna go with number three. But um, I'm going to actually hit him up and ask him 
if you can do modifications on number three, because number three isn't really chords, it's more like arpeggiations, and the arpeggiations make it sound like there's already a melody. And I don't really like that, because I'm gonna turn this into my own original song. What I was kind of thinking, and what I wanted to do was, so if you actually look at my MIDI files, so you can see that I kind of line them all up and turn them into chords based off of what his arpeggiations are, and if you don't believe me, there you go. So that's the arpeggiations right there, and then those are the chords. As you can see, they're literally lined up. All I did was take off like the extra notes that like clash. So. Um, like I kept like any time he hit a 7th or any time he went up to a 9, I kept those, but any time he hit something that was like a nice embellishment for the melody, I tried to take that out because I wanted to make it as like not melodious as possible, if that makes sense. Might not be able to uh, show every process of this because uh, Pro Tools does not like when you share outputs. Oh, right to you. So, sorry for the technical difficulties there. Um, we're back now. And, um, I go, oh, you know what, actually. So, this is where we started with. Oh, this is where we started with. And so basically, I did not enjoy that because that has an implied melody already. I know it's just arpeggiations, but even so, there is a lead line and it technically is taking the spot of the melody. So what I did was I went in, I took off all the extra little embellishments and I got just the bass root chords. And so that's gonna sound like this. So actually, <clears throat> I might even go a step further and really move some more of those embellishments. Also, one of my notes went off. You went off. So let me actually see what this sounds like if I take off all the higher notes. So I feel like that should be fine. I'm gonna put that one in. Oh. There you go, put that one. In. So, all right, okay, all right. So let's say I do this, and I take out... Mmm, because this is a chord change, technically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep every time the chord changes, but get rid of all the extra embellishments. By doing this, I have kept every single chord change. However, let's move it up to like 175. Let's get some rhythm in here. So. Okay, so. So I need to 
But we're doing metal, baby. So we're going 192. All right, here we go. Time to bust out the old long drops. Welcome to the creation station, ladies and gentlemen. This is the guitar. This is the uh, the keyboard. And this is how we're going to be doing things from now on. If we take a look at the chords, we can see it is. So it is a. It's an A. It's an A. That's what it is. It's an A. I thought it would play it, but it didn't play it. Oh, whoopsies. So he has the E, right? Oh no, that's F. So he has F, he has C, and he has E. F, C, yeah, E. down to a so good lord I'm gonna have to bust out the seven string for this so let's uh yep I need a seven string I can't go that low John you mad genius I can't go that low you dang it all right, great. So now we're we're genty boys. We're going. We're using the seven string. Oh boy. All right. So John's first chord was, and then, and then. Oh wait, that's not an A. <laughs> that sounds nice though. Uh, this is a um, this is a C. So. I think that's an A sharp. Yeah, it's an A sharp. So, good news is the lowest he ever goes is A sharp. Bad news is I think this would be A sharp major. There has to be a cleaner way to play that. Uh, John, I need you. Can I do inversions? <laughs> because the hard part is that it's always rooted in this uh, here. Like it's it's always rooted there. Like there's no denying it. It has to have those chords. The only thing that changes is here because it goes. So, okay, 
Alright, so it's not, it's it's freaking F major, so it's D minor. Which is great, which is why I would love to use that guitar, except I need to go low, so. So if so let's say I go off the assumption that these are the chords I'm allowed to use. And I just have to use them in this order, because that would be the progression. But I can change the BPM, I can change how they're arranged, but it's still the same chords. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do like a So we got something, so we got... jazzy note. It's like a it's like a six nine chord. I think that might be it. The thing is, and I don't want John to hate me for this, but I am using the chords, but like I said, because they're arpeggiated, I feel like I'm cheating because I didn't really pick out the chords, but you, you know what I mean? Alright, so because basically everything is, um, Pretty much everything is like an F7. Um, that means that I'm going to go ahead and add the three underneath with the. Oh, sorry, never mind. It's the octave. So basically, basically every chord in this is an F7. You're just really moving the bass around because, like I said, the implied harmony or the implied melody was in the top. So I got rid of that, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bass chord, so I'm going to go ahead and do an F7. So if I do, I'm going to do F7. Then, then I'm going to drop down, and then I'm going to do the D, F7 with the D in the bass, so. Then I'm going to go ahead and move down, do the C. And then probably sit on that one. And then I'll do uh
Alright, yeah, I think that's it. So my tempo would be like. hear what it sounds like if I do a little bit of loodly loodly over it. Ahoy mateys! It's day two! I did figure out a couple things. What happened was I had to go to work and so what I have successfully figured out is how I want to play it, the tempo, and I figured out a couple of guitar riff things that I want to use. So that's what this whole scratch track is, just so if I went to work and forgot it, I could come back and remember what it was. So let us go ahead and play this part real quick. guitar section so now we're done with the boring stuff
Oh, oh boy. outro and we'll use so people don't think I'm a cheater I actually use the thing that John gave me the I'm gonna try to do that. I don't think I can do it though. <laughs> Does the song make you feel hopeful? Mm-hmm. What about what about this part? I think this one's taking a while because I'm actually putting effort into it. I'm like Jamal's. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Jamal's song was still fun though. But this song, you know, I'm in it to win it, baby. <laughs> that up because I got scared. Hello lad. You got this Devin. This is a hard verse, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I know. Actually the pre-chorus is harder. Shift tab, shift tab again, and let's go. I don't 
know how far I recorded in that. What was that? Oh, because you showed up for no reason. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna double track all my guitars. Okay. Just gonna do it, make it beefy. It's gonna sound nice. I know it will. Today is day three. So today, and I know we're using camera audio because I don't have my stuff set up, because today we are basically going to be filming us playing the parts now. So that way we can go ahead and send it in for the contest. So my entry should be good to come in by, I want to say, probably Monday. So first take solo. <laughs> So bass, here we go. I'm wearing a jacket so I can actually tell which clip this is. So I know that this clip is going to be the one where I have the jacket on playing lead lines. Cool. Let's go ahead and let's set up our camera shot. Is this is this good behind the scenes content? Is this what you signed up for? Seven string guitars now. Alright, so we just finished recording all of the like guitar playthroughs and the bass playthroughs and the piano playthroughs. So I just wanted to take this moment to say if you made it this far into the video, thank you. We are at the final portion of the behind the scenes of the song. Um, so the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be mixing the song. I'm probably not going to do that like on camera, I'll probably do like a before and an after and then I'll just go over the different pieces and like how the mix turned out how it turned out. But thank you once again and uh, I'll see you after I finish mixing all this. Hello and um, today is day four of the infinite melody challenge, infinite melody challenge. Uh, today is mixing and mastering. I already went ahead and did all the mixing and everything. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little behind the scenes of what's going on here. So I'm gonna be all my effects so you guys can hear what everything sounds like without the effects on. This is like how the song is without the effects on. So the solo. <laughs> So it's pretty cool. And then you got uh, the filters gone, so there's no. Oh, never mind. The filter's still on there. That's right. Huh. 
I automated that. And then you have the choruses, which are... So, you know, I got all that stuff going on. And then if we actually go ahead and we look at this with all the effects back on... Oops. So the solo sounds like this now. And then the choruses sound like this now. So, yeah, I mean, I, just a little mix, little mix, 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 match. Uh, the reason I did not, like, actually film me doing the mixing is because, uh, I don't know if you're going to hear in this recording or not, but Pro Tools actually does not like sharing outputs with other devices. So my screen capture uses the same output as my Pro Tools, and Pro Tools doesn't like that, and sometimes it causes it to shut down. So instead of just dealing with a headache, I decided to just show you, like, a before and after kind of process. But uh, yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and film the video, send it off, and I don't know, we'll see if we win or not. Hey everybody, so this is editing Devin after editing this whole entire thing. I didn't edit it yet, but I edited the bulk of it. Uh, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. I just wanted to say that because this thing is, I think, like over 40 minutes long. At least that's what it's looking to be right now. Um... Huge thank you to anyone who actually watched the whole thing, or even if you just wanted to watch certain sections, thanks for tuning in. Um, I do want to say that um, I had to use camera audio because my microphone audio actually got deleted, and I couldn't record Pro Tools for a lot of it because, like I said, Pro Tools and my screen capture software do not like to work together, but I recently found a workaround for that, so I'll be implementing it in future videos, but for this video, unfortunately, I was not smart enough to figure it out by then. But um, if you did stay this long and you watched the whole thing, thank you once again. If you just skipped right to the end just to see what's going on at the end, uh, thank you once again. Uh, any attention is good attention, but uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.